Okay, so what can I say? I um, lied. I'm kind of, you know, I told myself 20 minute sessions and only do 20 minutes at a time. But uh, right now, I, I'm, I'm into it. So I'm not wanting to give it up yet uh, for the week. I'm going to squeeze out another one. And I thought I would just go ahead and see if what would happen if I slammed these two up against each other. I didn't set my timer again. Tag them and start it. Okie dokie. And go. I just wanted to see what would happen. And how could I rob you of that? My lovely dog. Oops. Hey, hey, look. The loop function works just as it's designed. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to uh, get rid of this, though, because I feel like... All right, so we've established our little background channel with the noise and stuff, the wind rustling. We brought in a violin. We... Brought in that staccato violin, which, you know, honestly, let's go ahead and do that. I really like that sound. And in the appropriate places, we're going to keep it. All right, so this is how you go through and mix and match your samples a little bit. All right, so these are all going to have that very nice uh, punctual bit. And the, uh, you need to stop saying bit to Anthony. That's getting a little overdone. All right. So, and then these other places where I've sustained the note for half a second or whatever. will work together. They're both panned the uh, same way. Violin left. And this is the staccato version. So I'll just mark it with an ST or something like that to let me know. Yeah, let's do that here too. Left ST. And you're just left. Alright, so... Let's see how that works together with the... to be stronger. Let's just see what happens. I mean, because you think about it, when the um, violinist or whoever is playing it, you know, they're playing these staccato notes, very um, uh, strong um, for it to be followed immediately with a very light uh, playing of a note, it just doesn't seem uh, reasonable to me, natural to me, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it and geeking out. This is MIDI music after all. But the added velocity doesn't make it sound so foreign. Ooh, okay. I don't like that, this little bit here. Yeah, let's not do that, okay. Sounds a little cheesy. What are they playing here? Uh, that's an F. And that would be an F. How about that? Okay, happy enough with it. Uh, it's not f perfect, but we're getting somewhere. Uh, now, again, and I guess I need to give myself some kind of border of how long this track should be, you know, because we're already up to uh, 41 seconds, and I've kind of expent all the uh, instruments that we've used so far. We've uh, brought in both the piano and the cello at the same time, and, you know, we may be 
moving too fast. I, I mentioned that in the other video that I really have to guard myself against that. This is uh, wind sounds. And this is dog barking. Yeah, wouldn't that be great with some kind of delay and, you know, some super high frequency filter thing, a mob bob. Uh, the other instrument that I fall in love with so much is the Retron. And, um, yeah, it had to happen at some point. I... Uh, I like our chord progression, but I think we need something to break up the, um, I mean, because we're, we're getting used to the harmonies and the melodies by now. It's been beat into our skull for, um, you know, whatever, 16 bars here. So it's time for something new. We're in the key of C. I did not turn on my keyboard, so it's not working right now. I'm just going to adopt these uh, chords here, but let's do some rearranging for the sake of doing it. Um, oh yeah, I didn't actually select the patch, did I? Let's just take the first one in the list and go with it. We're not going to keep that, I promise. We're not going to keep that. Uh, and let's just give it a, like a, a, something that everybody loves, the, the 2 4 five, and two five one. How about that? Uh, yeah, so I just copied those down for nothing. I agree. That was pretty stupid. Alright. Uh, that one. And that one. Alright, so what that is is a minor... Uh, the first inversion of the... Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oops, I cursed. Shame on me. I did not intend to do that. Please don't stop listening to me. I need your attention. Not really, but... Uh, Alright, so... Shut up and make music, bro. Alright, so that's the two chord. This would be the five. I did make that correctly, right? I didn't, did I? Yeah, it is. It's, that's D minor. Most of the time, it's D minor. Um, and then a C would be that one. Is that right? That one and that one, that's correct. All right, so that's a two, five, one chord progression, which I've always enjoyed. Sometimes I dream about it. Not really. Sometimes, all right, I'm gonna add in a seventh, the B, right there and right there. That's half bars, right? Good. Deal. Okay. All right, so what can we do with this thing? Quit pressing buttons and just find what you're looking for. Um, I tend to like the flute sound. You know, well, naturally I like the violins. I think it's been well established that I'm a very big fan of string instruments. Let's just try this. This is a pump organ and the flute, but um, I'm going to uh, kill the pump organ by turning on the half speed thing. Um, yeah, that sounds scary, bro. This isn't going to work with what we're doing. You never know until you try something, though. Let's just see what the flute sounds like. All right, so that needs to resolve to something. But I don't know what it is. Maybe if I watch the music or the uh, composing video, I'd know what the heck's going on. But I don't. And I'm not going to, not right now. I don't have time. There's never enough time. All right, that's gonna be... Where the heck am I? I've totally jacked this up. That was not the seventh. This is the seventh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're just making 
the music right now. We'll figure it out when we get there. Just making it up as we go along. All together now. All right, and that is four, so uh, five. Very happy sounding. And if that's not happy music, I don't know what is. All right, but it is, I'm um, just stretching it out a bit. Now I done messed everything out. Oh, there we go. And we're going to subdue the heck out of this thing. And by subdue, I mean add reverb. So let's do that. Yep. All right, this will be a little crazy. Okay, now I'm just going to decrease the velocity. Alright, and... Alright, so we were doing 2, 5, 1, and then we just went absolutely nuts with everything else. So, let's bring our violins into that somehow, some way. Really should have plugged in the piano, or turned it on, rather. Alright, so yeah, that hits our two pretty good there. And it's going for a full bar or full two bars? Two bars. Alright, so we got lots of time to work our way through that chord. And then we go to the five, and I'm guessing we did that for two bars also, which is this guy here. Is that right? No, it needs whatever that is. The Oh, yeah, that's what you did, Anthony. Congratulations, you did it right the first time and you didn't even know what you were doing. Hooray. All right, way too much of this guy. Let's turn him down. There's a volume right there. And that's something to uh, be mindful of, too, is things like that with lots of reverb. You can just throw them into the background, and they'll help fill in the gaps between um, your notes. You may not even be able to recognize them once you get a full mix going on, um, but they'll be handy nonetheless. All right, so uh, that's not going to work, Anthony. All right, so this is what we did with the first violin. We need to add some kind of rhythmic something going on. In 
any chance that makes any sense. They all do, except for that guy right there. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty neat. The difficult thing here, all right, let's drop this down. What I'm thinking here is we're going to need a way to bring this Retron track in without drawing a whole lot of attention to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the... Uh, but I'm actually not going to... I'll, I'll do like fifths like so on it and we'll make it pretty soft and lead into it and we'll actually just automate this joker the volume knob to the retron that is come on you can be my friend quit being ornery and do something like that Give it a gentle slope while the previous bit's going on. Just a little bit there at the end. I don't know if you picked up on it. Um, you probably won't hear it until this 18th bar. You can feel the airiness coming in. And that way it's not quite as sudden when we hit bar 19. I mean, it's a pretty drastic change. But all the same, uh, it's not as bad as it could be. All right. Um... Oops, did I do that right? Nope. Razor. And let's use this to bring the cello in. Yeah, because the cello can... You know what? Let's do that. Let's duplicate the cello and make the staccato bit from the cello come in. Uh, yeah. And back to the sequencer. All right, so let's get rid of that. Definitely don't need that. Uh, as a way of reintroducing the instrument, uh, we'll get it to do the little pulsy bit that the uh, violin had been doing. All right, so this was two, five, one. So that would be the one right there. And then we started migrating off of that with the craziness that was those chords that we just threw together. Is that right? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm thinking. All right, so that's just, um, what is that, eighth notes? Yeah, and let's do that. Let's drop all this thing down an octave. Can we join these together without losing anything? Good. Cool. All right, so yeah, I'm basically going back through going to do the same deal that we did in maybe the first uh, video. Yeah, I tried to say episode there again. But I didn't do it until, of course, right then when I did say it. Oh, I hate that word. Makes me feel like such a geek. Crying out for attention. Needing to be approved of. Which I do need approval. If anybody approves with me, uh... 
That'd be wonderful. Oh, uh, no, not really. I, I'm going to make it. Your support means the... Oh, look at that. We're out of time again. Yeah. Um, well, we're still going to be making music here for just a second more until we get this progression done. Yeah, that made no sense, but we'll do it. Oh, shut up, would you? All right, so, yeah. That ought to get the rhythm back into the track, and it actually will stay in harmony with what our uh, reverby retron is doing. Okay, those chord progressions may not work. They may get edited out next time around. But I really do like this thing here, and I want to keep this um, flow going. Uh, this on-off, pushing, pulling kind of feel with the violin. Um, but how do I do that? Well, you know what? That's going to have to be the next video. Yay, another video. Thank you for watching. Uh, Comments, direction, uh, checks made payable to all that would be appreciable. Uh, appreciated, appreciate, appreciated. I'm not used to talking for an hour at a time. Thanks, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.